Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 30th of 2022. Well, it is titled the Eagle Rises. So what do we see here? Well, this is a stereo image. So if you have red and blue uh, 3D glasses, you can put those on and see this in a three dimensional image. And that can be done by taking a couple of different photographs of the of the image here and then take putting those together slightly offset allowing us to see the distance to get the perspective of three dimensions as we look at it. Now, when we look at this here, we do see the Eagle, which is uh, the lunar landing craft as it begins to ascend as it is ascending up towards the command module. So the image was taken by Michael Collins, who was the uh, person driving steering the command module and then it would then dock there and allow the two astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to transfer back to the command module from their lunar module and be able to begin their trip back to Earth. We can see on the moon, of course, a number of craters. The moon is extremely heavily cratered. Not that it's been hit by more objects than something like Earth, but it also has some difficulties in that it has no atmosphere. So it does it isn't protected from smaller objects at all. And it has no weathering effects as we do on Earth or geological effects as we have on Earth. So things like volcanoes and volcanic activity can wipe out craters as can wind and water will slowly wipe out craters. So while we only see the most recent craters that have formed on Earth, we can see craters billions of years old on our moon. The darker area is one of the Maria. Those are the smooth areas on the surface of the moon, which were some of the last to be flooded three to three and a half billion years ago. And when we look at them, we'll see far fewer craters there than we see on the rest of our moon. And that tells us that they're younger. One of the ways we can tell whether things are younger or older is by the number of craters that we see in, in a specific area. The more craters we see, in, in crater density, the older the object is and the fewer craters, the younger that surface is. In other words, the longer it's been longer or shorter time it's been since that area has been resurfaced. Now, if we look out to the far left, we do see another object, astronomical object in this image, and that is, of course, our own Earth. And there we see Earth just off over the horizon, as we see it, uh, just appearing to rise or set. However, because of the way the moon is locked towards the Earth, the moon Earth, if you're on the surface of our moon, the Earth will seem to stay in one position in the sky. It will not rise or set. Of course, if you are traveling orbiting around our moon, then you will see Earth seem to rise and set because of your motion. But on certain parts of the moon on the near side facing Earth, the Earth will always be there hanging up in the sky. And the closer you are to the uh, sub Earth point, the point directly below the Earth, the higher it will be in the sky. The closer you get towards the edges of the moon, further away from the, that central point, the lower it will appear in the sky, but it will just stay there. So while we're used to seeing our moon rise and set from Earth, if you're on the moon, you would not watch Earth rise and set, it would stay in one spot. And in fact, if you're on the far side of the moon, which points away from Earth, you would never see Earth at all. So that was our picture of the day for July 30th of 2022. It was titled The Eagle Rises. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Starburst Galaxy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>